Hello everyone and welcome to my Young and Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sharon's young and restless narrative to a climax this week when she ended up in Daniel's apartment with a vial of poison and an angry Cameron, bringing her to the brink of death. And just when she triumphed over her worst urges, there was a twist that left viewers' hearts tumbling into their stomachs. Sharon, about to flee unobserved, came face to face with Heather. This is a crisis in the making, with devastating consequences. Heather and Sharon were already on the outs following Faith and Lucy's disaster. Daniel's live in love wanted to leave Geno City and start over somewhere else. This comes after a series of encounters with a snappy and occasionally frightening Sharon throughout town. As young and restless viewers are well aware, Sharon's medications are interfering with her mind to the point where her dead ex-stalker has taken up residence, urging her to do the unimaginable. Cameron was convincing enough to carry out a break-in and inject poison into Daniel's whiskey bottle in an attempt to kill him. Cam claimed that this would result in rainbows, sunshine, and a reconciliation with her ex-husband Nick. Sharon appeared to regain her composure after the crime was completed. A lovely family photo halted her in her tracks and heaped on the guilt, letting her know exactly what she was about to become accountable for. Sharon did the right thing by pouring out the poisoned whiskey, but Cameron was still riding her hard and knocked over a tray of glassware, smashing it all over the floor. This resulted in a plain, unsafe delay. Sharon shoveled up the shards and was on her way out the door when she bumped into Heather, who was returning home from a job interview. Both women recoiled in astonishment, as did the audience, who began bracing themselves for what would come next. Sharon is unlikely to sit down with Heather and explain that she was about to kill Daniel, but decided against it and asked for forgiveness because she is in some type of psychotic state as a result of her medications. No, there will be a conflict. Heather has had it up to here with Sharon, so finding her snooping in her flat would undoubtedly spark off some fireworks. We expect the two to clash and go physical. We know things will take a perilous turn, which does not augur good for the future. Heather will almost certainly suffer a negative outcome. The only question is whether she will die or fall into a soap opera coma from which she will emerge with amnesia. Picture this, Heather and Sharon dispute, get into a fight, and the attorney falls and hits her head. She either dies or can't be revived. Sharon takes out an empty whiskey bottle and places it alongside Heather on the ground. She spreads glass fragments around her body to make it appear as if she had an accident while intoxicated, and then sneaks away. Daniel, who had just picked up Lucy from the club, returns home with his daughter, and the two see an utterly horrifying incident. Sharon, of course, will be long gone, but she will be far deeper in a mental hole than she was before she realized what she had done. Will she run? Will she confess? You'll have to watch Young and Restless to find out. The Young and the Restless, Y and R, spoilers for Wednesday, September 25, show that Daniel Romilotti Jr., Michael Grazia Day, will deceive Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, by claiming Heather Stevens, Vale Bloom, wants them to leave town with Lucy Romilotti, Lily Brooks O'Brien. Phyllis will presume this is because of Sharon Newman, Sharon Case and threatened to put her in a headlock, prompting Summer Newman, Allison Lanier, to persuade Daniel to come clean. Daniel will admit that he persuaded Heather to stay in town, so there's no need to worry. Phyllis will also declare that she is Abbott Chancellor CDO and order a bottle of champagne to celebrate the news with Daniel and Summer. Although Phyllis will advise dessert, Daniel will need to go pick up Lucy after her community service. At the GCAC, Daniel will reward Lucy with ice cream and provide an update on Sharon's recent apology. Lucy will be overjoyed because she will be able to speak with Faith Newman, Raylan Castor, again, but Daniel will advise her to take a break for a bit. On Wednesday's episode of Y&R, Faith will continue to mourn Sharon and will tell Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, 
about her experience with Adam Newman, Mark Grossman. Nick will not be upset that Faith contacted Adam for aid because they are on excellent terms these days. Furthermore, Adam was present for Sharon when she was first diagnosed with bipolar disorder, so Nick would understand why Faith sought his help. Faith will concede that Adam offered her solid advice by telling her to trust Nick to find Sharon. Home. If anyone it's can Nick. get Sharon, when Marriott Copeland, Cameron Grimes, and Tessa Porter, Kate Fairbanks, arrive, Faith will head to the kitchen. Nick will acknowledge Faith's struggles and express concern about how horrible things could go for Sharon if they don't find her soon. At Daniel's penthouse, Cameron Kirsten, Lyndon Ashby will continue to pressure Sharon until she eventually puts poison drops in the whiskey bottle. Moments later, Cameron will persuade Sharon to leave so she does not get caught. However, Sharon will spot Daniel's family portrait with Heather and Lucy before she can leave. Sharon will imagine the anguish of Heather and Lucy discovering Daniel dead on the floor. Sharon will also flash back to Daniel, apologizing for what occurred to Cassie Newman, Cameron Grimes. Cameron will tell Sharon not to be a sucker, but Sharon will say it's murder and she can't do it. Sharon will battle with Cameron over the bottle since Cassie would be embarrassed if she pursued Daniel in this manner. Because of the tussle, Sharon will unintentionally knock off a neighboring tray with a pitcher and glasses. Glass will shatter everywhere, so Sharon will pick up the shards and place them in the wastebasket. Sharon will also discard the poisoned whiskey and place the empty bottle back in the cabinet. Cameron will be furious that Sharon squandered this opportunity for justice, but Sharon will force him to leave. Just as Sharon is about to leave Daniel's apartment, she will open the door to see Heather standing there. Heather and Sharon will be equally surprised to see each other. According to the young and the restless spoilers, there will be more twists and turns as Sharon spirals out of control, so stay tuned for more terrifying predictions. According to The Young and the Restless, Y and R, spoilers on Thursday, September 26, Sharon Newman, Sharon Case, will realize she is in a difficult spot now that Heather Stevens, Vale Bloom, has discovered her inside Daniel Romilani Jr.'s Michael Graziade penpals. Cameron Kirsten, Lyndon Ashby, told Sharon that if she were caught, she wouldn't be able to talk her way out of it, and for once, he was correct. Sharon just cannot present an innocent reason for her break-in. Heather may threaten to call the cops on Sharon, who may become panicked, especially if Cameron reappears and forces her to hush Heather before it is too late. Sharon might smack Heather in the head with anything to knock her unconscious. Then again, Sharon may get into a fight with Heather and accidentally send her flying into something. Regardless, it appears Sharon will attack Heather and run. According to Y and R spoilers, Sharon's strategy will pose a threat, and Heather will undoubtedly be the target. Sharon will later find herself crying outside at the chaos she has caused, wondering how she will get out of this mess. Sharon will break down at Cassie's burial before the end of the week, so there will be plenty of drama ahead. Meanwhile, Daniel and Lucy Romilotti, Lily Brooks O'Brant, will most likely return home to make a shocking discovery. Heather may be comatose on the floor and in need of medical assistance after her catastrophic encounter with Sharon. If that's the case, Lucy and Daniel will undoubtedly phone 911 so that paramedics may get Heather to the emergency room as soon as possible. Thanks for watching if you like this video so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.